All right, here we have the SJ Cam SJ8 Pro. This is a newly released camera by uh, SJ Cam, and um, it's supposed to be a GoPro competitor slash killer. Now, I've done the GoPro Hero 6 comparison to other cameras, and especially against the F, uh, FDRX 3000, and you see it did not fare very well. This particular camera here has a Sony chip internally. It's got the, um, I believe it's the IMX377. Yep, here it is, the IMX377. And it's supposed to be a really good chip. It's a 12 megapixel chip. It's a CMOS sensor. Uh, the camera has got uh, some pretty good um, options built into it. Uh, from gyroscope and so on the lens is 170 degree angle wide and you can control that actually you can make it a little less wide if you don't like the uh, the fisheye look so let's see so uh, it's got the um, the AMBA chip uh, what is it? the AMBA H22 chip uh, which is supposedly very fast that's why it can do 4k 60 frames per second um, it's got a 12 megapixel Sony sensor, yes, electronic image stabilization, which we don't really care for because it doesn't uh, work apparently in 4K. Most cameras don't uh, don't utilize that in 4K. But even if they do, I have a, um, a, um, a gimbal that I'm going to put it on. Uh, it can record in both 264 and 265, that's H dot, by the way, and uh, uses USB Type-C for uh, quicker, um, for quicker uh, charging. It includes a lot of a lot of accessories inside, and um, yeah, we're gonna open up and, and, and take a look at them, as you can see here, on the side of the box. Uh, it is made in China, but again, the SJ cams are well known to be great cameras. So, uh, China or not, this is supposedly a really really good camera. As you can see here, 12 megapixel Sony IMX377 CMOS sensor, and. Uh, all the other goodies, you'll see the image size for video and photos. The battery is 1200 milliamp and supports up to 128 gigabyte micro SD, which is really, really good. So you'll never run out of uh, storage space. There's a Type C connector, and uh, yeah. All right, we're going to open this up and take a look at it. All right, let's start by opening this sucker up. There's the accessories your, from your 3M stickers and all your GoPro type of accessories are all in here. They give you quite a few from helmet mounts to you name it. Very nice. This is a waterproof case, touch back door, so you can utilize touch screen on this one when you go under um, underwater up to 10 feet 3 meters and you got your manual of course if you want to go through the manual and your cloth so these are the accessories that comes with the camera let's take the camera out well there's more here there's probably the uh, a few more accessories a little cap and here we've got more mounts, helmets and whatnot. You decide where these are gonna go. There's your USB-C connector charger. And now for the camera itself. As you can see, it already comes in a waterproof case. That's how it comes packaged. And <clears throat> let's open her up. I believe this is the little switch to get this opened. And then we can pull this open. Great. Now let's see if she can come right out. There we go. She popped right out. And there's the waterproof case. I don't really use this. I don't really take these cameras underwater anyway, so we'll put it aside. But for those that do, 
at least it comes with one. Yeah, this is my uh, this is my LeBron James signed uh, cap I got from uh, when he was playing with the Miami Heat. Signed it, uh, King James. Yeah, I'm going to the uh, Cavaliers game, uh, game number three, Wednesday, June the sixth against the Golden State Warriors. All right, <clears throat> so. Here's the SJ Cam SJ8 Pro. Over here, we've got the uh, the lens, which is covered, protected with the uh, with the film for now. And over here, I believe, is the uh, charging port. Yep, USB-C charging port. Let's put that back. Okay, over here we got quarter-inch mount. You can uh, attach this to any any tripod, monopod, and whatnot. Here's your battery right in here, and uh, the power button is right here. And I believe you start and stop it from here. Yep. I don't know if this is a microphone <clears throat> or an actual speaker, one of the two. But there's a mic right in the front, as you can see here. Your LCD screen on the front, and obviously the one on the back. And there's another mic right here. I'm pretty sure this is another mic. I, it's got dual microphone pickup, but you know the audio is not great on this camera. Neither, um, it's it's it, no camera out there has great um, audio pickup. Uh, the Sony FDR X3000 actually it's not bad, but even that requires an external microphone for best audio now they do sell an accessory for this to connect an external mic i have not looked into it yet but that would be the ultimate so let's turn it on push this button hopefully it's charged at least somewhat anyway so there's the sj cam screen on the back let's turn it around you get the blue indicator on the top there it is in the front it's uh, in 4K video mode right now. And let's just grab a little micro SD card and put it in here. I believe the micro SD card goes in here. Yep, it does. Let's turn it right off again so we can put the card back in. All right, <clears throat> so let's turn it on again. There she is. And let's go to the settings and do a uh, format first on the card. That's it, the format of the card, okay. So language, English, of course. Wi-Fi is off for now. Wi-Fi frequency you can choose only. Oh, you got 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. That's good. Very nice uh, touch screen. Auto power off. I don't want that. I don't want to turn off. I want to turn it off when I want to turn it off. Screen savers. 30 seconds. I don't want any screen savers. Front display is on. Yes, we want that. Yes, we want the indicator light, the keypad tone. I don't want it on. What else? The brightness, I guess we can choose. Color temperature. I see you can control the color temperature of your, uh, of your video. Volume. I see this, I guess this is on the playback. External microphone, as you can see, off or on. We don't have one right now. We don't have the adapter for the external microphone, so we can't utilize it. Date and time. All right, let's see. Uh, it's June the 3rd and it's 12.38 p.m. Eastern time. So we're gonna change that. June the third, there we go. And the time is 12.38 p.m. 
We'll go 39. It's okay. All right. So, one day year. Perfect. That's what I want. Okay. So, next, we've got a gimbal control. I'm not sure what that is. I have to look into that for the gimbal control. Uh, the frequency is 50 hertz. We, we want 60 hertz here because we're in North America. What's the default setting? Let's see. No, that's you can go back to your default setting if you screw everything up. The user interface, you can change it from classic to SJ Cam. Let's just leave it where it is. Classic. If you go to SJ Cam, this is what you get. Which is actually very nice too. Very nice. But all right, let's go back to the user interface as classic. All right, so the version we have here, I'm not sure if it's the latest one, it's 1.1.1. .1 .1. I believe this was the the version was for the uh, the date which was May 16, 2018, when they had the latest version firmware from SJ Can. All right, so that's that. Here we got photo. What's photo and video? Let's see video. Here's the video mode. We got 4K 60. You can change that to whatever you want, 30 or 60. We'll leave it at 60 for now for, for testing. We're gonna be testing this a little bit later. And then we got 4K Ultra. And what's the difference? What's this one? Oh, this is for 30, okay. You can't, I don't understand what the difference is. 4K 60, you can even choose 30, but I don't understand what the uh, 4K Ultra is. You can only choose 30, but and here you can choose from video to photos. You go to photos, no file. I guess it's the playback. So that's video. Let's go to photo and let's see what we're gonna be taking photos and if we do it'll be 16 by 9 and it's 8 million pixels which is good that's good that's all you want you want the 16 by 9 format now what's this okay you can control your white balance your color you can have SJ cam or flat we'll leave it at SJ cam for now and check out the two profiles when we're outdoors and, and recording. White balance, you could uh, change it from auto to sunny and so on and so on. Just leave it on auto for now. Most people have it on auto. Metering mode center. You can change the metering mode if you want. Shutter, shutter time, time startup. Uh, sorry, timestamp. I don't want that. Distortion correction. We want that on. See, as you can see, you see that that's the when it's off, and when it's on, you get a less distortion. This is a wider field of view, obviously, but you're going to get the um, the fisheye look in the corners when you go here. You're not going to get that, so we're going to leave it on. We don't care about the really wide angle we want distortion free raw we can choose on or off so you can shoot in raw which is good actually i'm going to keep that on picture quality we want fine okay so we're going to be shooting in raw 
Actually, you know what? Let's shoot in JPEG for now. So we're gonna keep it off just to see what it looks like. And then we can go start shooting. Here you have a, uh, a zoom. It has a digital zoom. So you can see it pixelating obviously, but at least you have a zoom. When you're shooting, you can actually zoom in and out. Which is a pretty good option, I guess. But not if it's pixelated, it's not gonna be that useful. <laughs> All right, let's take a photo of my of my background here. Now we go back to the play. Pictures. This is the picture I just took by holding it. Let's see if we can zoom in. No, you can't zoom in. But it looks pretty good, I guess. It's not bad. It's not too distorted. It actually looks very nice. Now we're going to go back and change photo to video. You got video lapse too, actually. And you got slow record because this does I believe um, 1080p 120 which is very good we want video and 4k 60 here okay so let's turn it around and when we do press the record button here you will see it yep there on the big numbers it started to record so the camera is recording Let's see on the back. Yeah, you see it on the bottom left as well. It shows you 4K at 60 frames per second. And yeah, that's good. So when we do, and it's flashing on the top, on this side, the little red dot, you can see it flashing. So when you do press the uh, button again on the top, the front blue light is flashing, indicating that it is recording. And when we do press it again, it stopped flashing and the numbers stopped counting, so we're not recording anymore.